In Informatica Developer, create an aggregator transformation to perform aggregate calculations such as averages and sums. Use the aggregator transformation to perform calculations on groups of data. You can also use conditional clauses to filter rows. In this demo, we have a mapping that reads customer sales data from a flat file data object. In the source data, there are sales transactions for each customer. We want to aggregate the source data by calculating the amount of money made in the daily sales transactions for each customer. Our mapping also includes a sorter transformation that sorts the customer sales data in ascending order by customer number. The mapping also includes a flat file target. We'll add an aggregator transformation to the mapping that calculates the purchase price for each sales transaction and then aggregates the total sales for each customer. Right-click in the editor and select Add Transformation. Select Aggregator and click OK. The aggregator transformation appears in the editor. On the General tab, enter a name for the aggregator transformation. Informatica Naming Convention Guidelines use an AGG prefix. You can also add a description. On the Advanced tab, select Sorted Input. When you use Sorted Input, the Data Integration Service assumes all data is sorted by group and it performs aggregate calculations as it reads rows for a group. Hold down the control key and select these ports from the sorter transformation. Cust number, selling price, quantity. Then drag them to the aggregator transformation. On the ports tab, Clear the output field for the selling price and quantity ports. Notice that these ports are now input ports and the cust number port is a pass-through port. Later, we will use these input ports to calculate the purchase price for each sales transaction. Next, select the group by field for the cust number port. The aggregator transformation will now group the data by customer number. Notice that the cust number port is a group by port. In this demo, we will use a variable port to store the result of an expression that calculates the purchase price for each sales transaction. The variable port passes data within the aggregator transformation. On the Ports tab, select Variable and click the New button. Change the name of the new port to Purchase. Change the type to Decimal and change the scale to 2. In the Expression field, open the Expression Editor. Enter the expression selling underscore price star quantity to validate the expression click validate the expression is valid click OK then click OK again now, let's add the output port that will output data from the aggregator transformation and write it to the target. On the Ports tab, select Output Only and click the New button. Change the name of the new port to Daily underscore Purchase. Change the type to Decimal and change the scale to 2. In the Expression field, 
Open the expression editor. Delete the expression that appears. Now let's add an expression that uses the value of the variable port to aggregate daily sales transactions for each customer. On the Functions tab, expand Aggregate and click Sum. On the Ports tab, click the variable port purchase from the aggregated transformation. To validate the expression, click Validate. The expression is valid. Click OK, then click OK again. Now let's link the ports from the aggregated transformation to the target. We will auto link by position. Right click the aggregated transformation and click auto link. Select the aggregated transformation in the from panel and the target data object in the to panel. Select the auto link by position option and click OK. Notice how the ports in the aggregated transformation are linked to the ports in the target. We need to verify that our mapping is valid. Right click the editor and select Validate. Our mapping is valid, so we'll save the mapping. Now we can use the Data Viewer view to preview the transformation. Preview the transformation to ensure that the data is processed as expected. Click Run to preview the data. The Data Integration Service reads the data and it displays the output in the Data Viewer view. The data looks correct. Informatica Developer includes a cheat sheet that explains how to aggregate data. Click Help, Cheat Sheets, and select the cheat sheet called Aggregate Data. That completes this demo. To summarize, we added an aggregated transformation to an existing mapping, created ports in the aggregated transformation, configured an expression to aggregate data in the aggregated transformation, validated and saved the mapping. If you have feedback on this demo or to request a demo on another topic, Email us at infa underscore documentation at informatica.com. You can also tweet us on the Infa Support Twitter site.